Today we're gonna talk about pink and husky Frenchies. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more Frenchy content. And hit that notification bell for more French Bulldog. If you've been watching my vlogs, I had a previous vlog about Frenchy collars. The beauty of the French Bulldog breed is that it's very dynamic. More and more collars are popping out of nowhere. This vlog is a continuation of that vlog about Frenchy collar. Today we're gonna talk about pink and husky Frenchies. One of the veteran and famous breeders from UK introduced these collars. I've decided to make a vlog about this because I've yet to find a detailed explanation about this. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert about dog genetics. What I am is a Frenchy enthusiast. I just want to share what I've learned from Mr. Sanchez post, vlogs, also stuff I've researched about these colors. In December 2021, Mr. Sanchez introduced the pink Frenchies through this post. When I first saw it, I found it so gorgeous. The price was also wow. Kudos to Mr. Sanchez for bringing the Frenchy prices up. Thank you sir for what you do to the community. This is the picture of King Pinky Frenchie. His DNA is He's a pink blue tan carrying fluffy. There were many comments criticizing that the pink Frenchies were albinos, which makes them prone to albino related diseases like skin cancer. Let's quickly discuss albinism in dogs. Physically, according to this author, an albino dog does not produce any pigment and appears white with pink skin, nose leather, paw pads, lips, and either pink or red irises. Albinism in dogs has been rarely observed. According to Dr. Stephanie Pumphrey, most dogs that are considered albino have skin that appears pink around their eyes rather than pigmented skin, which can give the eyes a pinkish look. Most albino dogs will actually have blue eyes and pink noses. Dogs with white coat, dark eyes, or noses can sometimes be confused as albino. but Unless they have pink noses and pink skin around their eyes, they are not albino, just white-coated. The only way to confirm albinism is through genetic testing. So let's move over to the genetics. According to doggenetics.co.uk, there are a number of genes that can cause albinism. The most common is tyrosinase, usually referred to as the C. locus. The C. locus is responsible for albino in many species of mammal and generally lightens or removes all pigment. There's only one known C. locus mutation in dogs. No pure white dogs have tested positive for albino in this locus. However, there are dogs that have albinistic traits. One of the known mutations is located in this exon of this gene, which causes albinism in Lassa Apso, Pekinese, and Pomeranian breeds. The mutant allele is also known as CAL, small letter CA, capital L, and is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner. Another mutation causing albinism in a German Spitz breed is located in the first intron of this gene. So there are two types of albinism. Oculocutaneous albinism, where eyes and skin are affected, and ocular albinism, where only eyes are, are affected. Labo Clean UK offers albino gene testing for the following breeds, French Bulldogs, German Spitz, Lassa Apso, Pekinese, and Pomeranian. I'd like to show you a picture of a Doberman that has albinism. In this picture, he is wearing sunglasses to protect his sensitive eyes from the sun. So what's really the deal in albino, in dogs, and their health? According to Dr. Casal, similar to humans, dogs who suffer from albinism are sensitive to light and can develop skin cancer. Any kind of bumps, non-healing sores, or other changes in their skin should be monitored. 
But according to Mr. Sanchez, the breeder, pink Frenchies are not associated with albinism-related disease. I'll be posting here his explanation. We can't deny that pink Frenchies have albinistic traits. But to know whether or not they will be prone to albinism-related diseases is something I won't be able to answer. It's up to Mr. Sanchez, other owner of pink Frenchies, and the expert scientists or vets to answer. But I do find them interesting and gorgeous. Next up, we have the Husky Frenchies. Please see photos of Husky Frenchies from Mr. Sanchez. So from what I've deduced from Mr. Sanchez's explanation, Husky has a characteristic physical color pattern that does not test positive for pi and or blinda. But for me, there is sort of look like pi Frenchies. According to him, Husky appears to behave as a dominant trait. Currently, there are no gene testing for Husky. Just like testable chocolate before, or Isabella, it took us a while before we discovered the gene causing it. So this one is really very interesting. Mr. Sanchez also mentioned Husky Koi Frenchies. It's a combination of Husky and Merle Frenchies. Kendrick Perkins, a former NBA basketball player, was able to secure a husky animal carrying Isabella or what they call chocolate jeans, fluffy, cream and pink for 1 million US dollars, keeping our Frenchie game strong. So that's it for our emerging colors. Thank you for watching my vlog. Hope you learned a lot. It's really an exciting time for our favorite breed, French Bulldogs. So before we end, please uh, don't forget to like our Facebook page, Track Bullies, and also current new projects, Facebook, Goodest Pets, Facebook, and also Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to get notified if I upload new videos and vlogs. So thank you guys for watching. Peace!